Django Reinhardt, a jazz legend who found fame in Paris. And Django the biopic starring Reda Kateb as the guitarist of Roma Background opened this year's Berlin Film Festival. It tells the tale of how during World War II the Nazis demanded that he tour Germany to counteract the influence of black music from the United States and his attempts to escape. The movie's in contention for the biggest prize here, the Golden Bear, but there's stiff competition from around the world. Una Mujer Fantastica, or A Fantastic Woman, by rising Chilean director Sebastián Lelio, is based around a transgender woman trying to be accepted by her partner's family, but under suspicion when he dies. The uh, lead performance in uh, A Fantastic Woman is by a transgender actress, uh, Daniela Vega, and um, she has already gone down a storm, and some are saying that she could uh, become to be the first transgender actress to win an acting prize in a major festival. Another contender for best film is by a festival favourite. The Other Side of Hope, the latest from Finnish director Aki Karizmaki, threads together two stories with typical dry humour. One, how Khaled, a Syrian refugee who's applied for asylum in Helsinki, tries to find out if his sister's alive. And the other, how a bored salesman tries to reinvent himself as a restaurateur. I live here. This is my bedroom. No way. This is my garbage field. Says who? Say I. Do you want to fight? Well, on Saturday night, this place will be packed with fans and celebrities as we find out who's won the Golden Bear for Best Film. But between now and then, there are hundreds of screenings for people in the industry, for journalists and for the general public. And the thing about the Berlinale is that no matter how small the film, it's virtually guaranteed to sell out. And that's music to the ears of any festival organiser. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, Berlin.